heard in the beginning that sometimes users just forget to add the feature gate or add logging. In this example, we didn't have to even prompt the AI to create a feature gate. And the way that this happened is by adding instructions in the agents.md file. That's a file that's becoming a standard for AI agents to understand how to interact with your code. And so by doing that, the agent knows that when it's creating a new feature to use the static MCP instead of just going directly to the code. And so you don't even have to think about it just by adding that instruction in this shared file for agents. And this is why we talk about giving you control over the AI code that you're shipping. When you're writing AI code and shipping it, if it's negatively impacting your metrics, or if the AI code that doesn't really work in a specific edge case, you can go to Statsig and roll back that feature gate, giving you control over that code that was shipped to undo changes, or if things are okay, at least it gives you peace of mind about those changes.